Hello, this is Congressman Bob Dole. This week's question comes from Gerald in Glenview. He asks, why are we negotiating with Iran? Isn't Iran a terrorist state? Gerald, early this month, I traveled to Israel on a week-long mission to convey the message that the United States, and particularly the 10th District, stands unequivocally with Israel on many security challenges ahead of us. We met with Israeli government officials, diplomats, and military leaders. Chief among their concerns is the threat that a nuclear-armed Iran poses to global security. Let me be clear, Iran is the greatest security threat in the world right now and is also one of the world's leading abusers of human rights. This week marks the seventh anniversary of the unjust imprisonment of seven Baha'i leaders by the Iranian regime. There are more than five million Baha'i followers worldwide, and in Iran they have endured persecution for decades. I recently co-introduced House Resolution 220, condemning the Iranian government's state-sponsored persecution of the Baha'i minority and Iran's continued violation of the International Covenants on Human Rights. Congress passed the Iran Nuclear Agreement Review Act. This bill empowers the American people to hold the administration accountable to its assertion that no deal is better than a bad deal. The bill also empowers Congress to hold Iran accountable for its continued deception as Iran's mullahs work to get nuclear weapons, support terrorism, and undermine democracy in the Middle East. I hope we can reach a diplomatic solution on this issue, but only if the final deal ensures that Iran cannot remain a nuclear threshold state and does not continue to finance terrorism around the world. If you'd like to submit a question for next week, please don't forget to use the hashtag and tweet AskBob or send your question on our website at www.dold.house.gov. Thank you for the opportunity to represent you in the United States Congress. Have a great week.